Welcome back, amigos. Well, this border crisis is still going on, man. Where is it going to end? Is this the beginning of the civil war, the WEF and all the rest of the guys have been promising us for the longest time? They've been predictive programming the, the masses of an uh, upcoming civil war, some political unrest that's going to happen in 2024. They've always been saying 2024, 2024. Well, if you read Agenda 21 or Agenda 2030, you can actually see the roadmap to where they're leading the West. So this whole invasion of the third world is not just happening organically like that, but it's being done on purpose. They, they, they really, really trying to destabilize the West because these people don't believe in any borders. Open border policy, that's their thing. And your political candidates are not really your political candidates. They're their political candidates. You all know this. I'm, not, I'm preaching to the choir here. So let's see what the news is going on about. The news is just another propaganda arm of the government. Is these are not journalists? They they are all operators. They're agents. All illegal immigrants became eligible for health insurance under the state's program for low-income residents. After a newly signed law will now let non-U.S. citizens become police officers. That would allow non-citizens to become police officers here in Illinois. Chicago reportedly diverting almost a hundred million dollars in COVID relief funds to help pay for migrant care. Migrants were flown here on a private plane. A luxury hotel in Midtown Manhattan, now a public shelter for migrants. Phoenix Airport, and there are migrants everywhere. Everywhere they're receiving priority boarding, they're skipping security lines, they have their own security area. So city officials just took us on a tour of the new humanitarian relief center. These tents are climate controlled, complete with phones, laundry service, even Xboxes and sofas where migrants can watch flat screen TVs. Tonight, the Justice Department demanding Texas remove the barriers. The White House calling them dangerous and unlawful. There are hundreds of those shipping containers all along the Arizona-Mexico border. The Department of Justice is now suing the state of Arizona for refusing to take them down. These people are just waiting. And by that standard, 11 million undocumented aliens are already Americans, in my view. You can serve in our military, and if you do it honorably, we will make you citizens of the United States. We are losing our country because we're going to allow people from 160 different countries around the world. The plan, right, is to have mercenaries. These people don't want soldiers anymore. Soldiers are, are loyal to the soil. Soldiers are principled people by nature. The government, the tyrannical authoritarian government, do not want people like that. They do not want people with that kind of characteristics because you are going to question orders. They don't want people that question orders. They want people that follow orders when given. Whether it's whether the orders are unlawful or not, you just follow it. That's what they're doing. The important mercenaries. They're not just important the voting base. They are important mercenaries. They don't want soldiers. You don't want patriots in the army. Why did you think they started kicking people out of the army because of the whole C-19 thing? Because people that wouldn't get the jab. That was just an excuse to get rid of defiant characteristics in people. Get rid of those people and bring in mercenaries. This is what they're doing. By so doing, they're going to cut more on the spending, on the on the army spending because these people are just going to be happy to have a roof over their head. They're just going to be happy to have a couple of pennies. Healthcare benefits and all this stuff in the army and stuff like that, that the citizens demand. These people are not going to demand all those benefits. They're just going to be happy to have whatever. And when the revolution starts and people are walking around with their tiki touches, marching on the capital, marching on the palace, what do the elites do? They tell the soldiers to open fire on the people. Patriots are not going to do that. Because they're loyal to the soil. They, they swore an oath to protect the people. They won't open fire on the people. Because a lot of people there are probably related to that particular soldier. Or the soldiers know this person. They're familiar with that person. They went to school with this person. They're not going to open fire on them. So what do we do? Let's get rid of, of those type of people with the excuse of they wouldn't take the C-19 jab. And then we'll open the floodgates, bring more people with military experiences, bring them over, put them in the army. So in case the time comes 
Now, these people decide to march on the palace. We give the order, and this foreign army would do would carry it out without hesitation. This is the plan. They're fortifying themselves. They're bringing in their own protection. Soldiers swore, to, swore an oath to protect the constitution, to protect the people, to protect the land. Well, these people that they're bringing in, want to put in the police force, want to put in the army. These people are not loyal to the land. These people do not care about your land. They just want a better life so they can feed their families and send money to their families back home where they're from. That's where they're loyal to. It's just like you have the American political parties. All these candidates are dual citizens. They are from that little country, that little army base in the Middle East masquerading as a country. That's where a lot of them, that's where their loyalties lie. I don't know why you would elect someone into a high political office that's a dual citizen. The West is going down the toilet in real time and everybody's just watching. We are losing our country because we're going to allow people from 160 different countries around the world to come in here and decide our elections. The New York City Council voted in December to allow this. It begins January 9, 2023. Cities in Vermont and Maryland already allow this and similar measures are under consideration in Illinois, Maine and, and uh, Massachusetts right now. Is the gentleman with you? Yes. Uh, I believe those are um, considerations of allowing votes in municipal elections only. Right, but, but thank you. That's the point. <laughs> Everybody wants exactly. to know at home, why would they allow this? Guys, they're allowing it because they're going to turn them into voters. They already are that. doing this in New York City, largest city in America, and this is the plan of our friends on this side to turn all the illegals into voters. That's it, folks. That's what's going on. That's the game. That's why the border... Turn them into voters and military muscle for the ruling class. It's open and consideration is being given to... Uh, uh, permitting uh, non-citizens to vote in New York and I believe in uh, in uh, the capital city of Vermont. But Mr. Chairman, that's the whole point. This is what's going on, folks, at home. If you're trying to figure this out, if you're scratching your heads, you're seeing the video, you see droves of people, 2.4 million people coming over the border illegally, the president allowing, the Democrats in charge of Congress are allowing it, the deal is they're going to turn them into voters. You just heard it. They don't have any problem with that. They celebrate it. Here's the deal. We have a problem with it. The Constitution has a problem with it. American elections should be decided by American citizens. Thank you, John. Uh, why are you guys making it easier for people to enter the And this is not just happening in the U.S. This is happening everywhere in the Western world. The U.K. is the same thing. France, the same thing. Germany, the same thing. It's the systematic destruction of the Western world. And these elite are fortifying themselves. They're building bunkers. They're bringing in military muscle to fortify themselves because they, can, they, they see what's coming on the horizon. The people are sheep. People in the West are sheep. But even, some, even once in a while, a sheep is going to attack. Keep pushing. Why are you guys making it easier for people to enter the country illegally? I believe we are. Why do you think we are? Well, you guys sued to cut razor wire that was put in place by Texas officials. So that the Border Patrol could actually do their jobs, but keep going. Well, you won in court, so now what? The Border Patrol Union president is saying the Supreme Court's decision is going to undoubtedly encourage more illegal immigration. Do you guys know better than the Border Patrol Union? The Border Patrol needed access, and that's why we sued to get rid of that uh, razor wire, so that they could do their jobs. Well, they're in it. That was a case about a mile upstream from Shelby Park where we met a pair of migrants named Edwin and Wilmer from Guatemala who say they were looking for another area to cross where they wouldn't be immediately arrested. Ahora, ¿cuál es el plan? What's your plan right now? To go look for border patrol? That's what they just said is that they're walking along the border here. They're looking for border patrol agents so that they can uh, surrender to them. Uh, they're going to keep going upstream here. Uh, obviously, they can't cross here because of the barbed wire. Those responsible for the enforcement here say it's working, with numbers of crossings dramatically dropping. But for migrant advocates and Eagle Pass residents like America Garcia, this scale of operation is just too heavy-handed. The thing is, for sanctuary cities and states, 
They complain about the cost, but they continue to add services. I want to show you California. As of yesterday, California has added a health care benefit for migrants. They are now going to extend free health care to migrants between the ages of 26 and... You've got injured veterans living on the streets. You've got bridges all over the place dilapidating. Structures collapsing. The citizens can't get all this benefits y'all are throwing to these people. Not really. If they can't say this any clearer, they do not care about the citizens of these countries. They do not at all. And now they're talking about conscription. They're talking about conscription, like to draft people to fight Russia. Who's going to do that? The same people you've neglected all these years? You want to go fight Russia? Really? We don't even know what gender we are in the West. And you want to go fight people that have been fighting bears since they were kids. <laughs> Count me out of that. Not <laughs> 49. That's going to cover 700,000 additional people and cost the state $2.6 billion each year. Now, that's added onto New York's, uh, excuse me, that's added onto California's deficit, which is already $68 billion. This is the chaos. This is the chaos. Order up KO. Order out of chaos. The manufacture the chaos. Destroy society and then rebuild it the way they want. That's why all this is happening. They're destabilizing the Middle East, destabilizing this third world country. What do you think the people are going to do? They're going to automatically want to migrate over where there's better living. But they know this. So they destabilize the third world. And then open the gates, let them come in. And they'll use that to completely change the demographic of the Western world in the next 20, 30 years. <laughs> Just watch, man. And a lot of these people, you are not going to be able to assimilate with the culture and the way of life of these new countries they're going in. A lot of them are, gr are adults, military-aged men. They are not going to be able to assimilate. They will not be willing to assimilate. They would want you to conform to their way of life. Instead of being the other way around. The chaos hasn't even started yet. It hasn't even started at all. And all this is going to blow up in the face of the elites because when once the people realize, oh, look, in a mass scale, once they realize in a mass scale, because a lot of people are realizing now, but still not enough people waking up. When a lot of people wake up in a mass scale and decide to take laws to restore law and order, because when the government is not doing their job, it falls to the citizens, it falls to the patriots to take the laws to restore law. And it's going to be chaos. Literally, heads going to roll. Literally. The chaos hasn't started. It hasn't even started yet. This is just preliminary stages. An illegal immigrant from El Salvador had his bond set at $250,000 after allegedly crashing into a car while driving under the influence, killing a mother and her teenage son. ICE officials say they have deported suspect Jose Menevar four times prior to this incident. Toxicology reports show Menevar's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit, and witnesses say he was driving about 100 miles per hour. If convicted this time, it will be his sixth DUI. Mayvar pled guilty to a previous offense just four days before the fatal crash and was wow. sentenced to probation and work release. Prosecutors wanted him in jail for a year. A Denver hospital system says it's on the verge of collapse due to the cost of caring for a large influx of illegal immigrants. Here in New York City, kids were unable to attend school in person while it was being used to temporarily house migrants. Republicans in Congress are now demanding answers from the TSA about migrants being able to use an app 
to board flight. You are smart enough, you would know who I am. But you are really not Oh, I saw this one. You see that? You see that? Oh my. <laughs> this is just the, prele the, the, the preliminary stages. This is just the beginning. This is just the early stages. One of the migrants that has snuck through the border successfully have been identified as a convicted terrorist from Azerbaijan or something. He's been jailed since about uh, 2012 or something, and it was just released in was it this January or December, and he's found his way to the Texas border. I think he's crossed in now. They are bringing in sleeper agents. They've got sleeper cells, I'm sure. They've got sleeper cells everywhere. When they give the word, it's time. It's time to take over. It's time to destroy. Time to take over the West. Time to bring the West down to, the, to its knees for what they've done to the Middle East and to the rest part of the world. They've got loyalty to their land. and You've destroyed their land. What do you think they're going to do to your land when they cross over? You think that the elite actually are arrogant. They think they can control these people. The citizens are the ones that are going to suffer. Smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're going to know who I am. Chicago's getting overrun pretty quick. It's about to boil over because you got so many of them here. They're commanding so many resources from the city, and you've got people displaced who never shared any of that. Like all of a sudden, we have a hundred billion to spend on people that just got here, and you know you, you've got people that have been here forever, and they don't even have a place to, to sleep at night. That's it's it's madness. I don't even know what the budgets are now. It's beyond about, madness. But they keep passing more and more money, and where's it going? You know, you've got construction sites where they're using for warming centers. You've got entire city blocks, police stations. It's not sustainable. The, the crime here was already so bad that people were worried about what was going to happen next. Well, now it's the point of no return. You can't deport them all. You couldn't if you had to. And there's a lot of denial, too. I mean, we've been spending money in this city for decades without any care for where it came from, right? And now it's going to hit the pensions. It's, it's going to hit city budgets that allow for a lot of the current employment. Uh, that just keep the wheels on. I don't see any way out. You can't have this many new unskilled people in a place where we already had desperately poor. And, and it's like we're kind of a forgotten part of America. Like nobody really cares. We've got parts just 10 blocks from here that look like the third world. And people have always turned a blind eye to that. And now you're, you're throwing gasoline on that fire. And the people in the really polite suburban enclaves like where I'm at, they think they're safe when when this happens here it's 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 not going to be safe no one's going to be safe there's no good way out of this and you look at that too president trump what he did on the southern border versus joe biden just opening the floodgates up do you see the, like again that that shift where people here are starting to get it especially a lot of the community leaders that, that i know personally like you know we've had that talk and it's right away like they they saw the difference you know they and, and a lot of them saw the difference with trump back then yeah. you know one, one of the things that trump did that was huge was the first step act and that got a lot of these nonviolent offenders you got to get them their lives back whereas biden was the one drafting the legislation so that wake up was already starting to happen this is just forced it over the top we have a whole city that's that's ready to change allegiances because they know it's not working and it's so hard to get any attention on it so god bless you for being here